bueno. I mean, buen, yes. I'm sorry. <sighs> no, you're not. <laughs> not at all. Hello and welcome to Mostly Finished Thoughts with Theodore Elving and Alana Maddy coming to you from Malmo and Can Toronto. <laughs> Can Toronto? <laughs> Good try. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you, friend? I'm very good. We almost bought a coffee table and we didn't you buy a coffee table. You almost bought a table. coffee table. Yeah. I was telling Theo a very interesting story before we started that there's a coffee table we've been wanting to buy for like a really long time, like since like previous apartments. Since um, the dawn of time. Since the dawn time. of time. We could never justify it. Um, so we had like an ottoman for a while that was like kind of our coffee table, we had, like an ottoman with like a tray on it and like that worked fine. Um, and now we have like a bench thing that we got from my parents. Like they passed it on to us because yeah. they were using it. So we have a bench as our coffee table currently. I don't know. It works fine, but nice. there's just a coffee table we want. And I thought it was on sale, but it was not. It was all a lie. So we were late starting because I thought I was going to buy a coffee table and I then I didn't. Wow. Table. Cool story. <laughs> no, but we bought our, our coffee table. I bought that in my first apartment at like a secondhand place. Uh, and they said, uh, uh, how much is it? seven dollars and i went sure that's a bargain <laughs> and then we realized that it 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 folds upwards so you can like pull out the middle part and it has like fold out things it's a wonder of engineering so it's also that's... apparently worth money I think what you're ex describing is like the coffee table that we want. It's got like a bit that like lifts up and then like gets closer to you. So it's like a taller table. I don't know how to. No, you lift up the middle way. and then the outer parts are pulled. You can oh, pull out the outer parts. interesting. So the main part goes up on like stands mm -hmm. and then it has things that can slide out. And it's Ooh. real sturdy as well. I don't know how they did it. I've never seen anything like it. Very happy about it. <laughs> wow. The best $7 so you... you've ever spent. <laughs> that was the. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I <would say. laughs> yeah. Um, otherwise, it's fell the dust in terror decorating of this house. Mm -hmm. um, everything that has been bought in here has been picked out by my wife. <laughs> uh, the arrangement of the bookshelves fell. Yep. <laughs> um, my mom just tried to. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. My mom has a lot of cool things in her house yeah. like yeah. random things though but like very cool so like she has they live in um in like a two-story house but it has a basement and the way the mm -hmm. stairs work is that you can it's the same staircase all the way from the basement to the second floor if that makes sense why are you laughing Am I i'm laughing again? because you were describing how stairs work and i thought you were going oh. to explain <laughs> so, sorry <laughs> No, no. Okay, so, so my, that's my like brain one... got caught up in you trying to describe how. <laughs> so you, you know, well, you like, lift uh... your foot and then you put it down on the step, and then you lift your other foot and you put it on the higher step. Yeah. That's weird so when you think about it. One step. There's one on one with Alana and Theo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my so community that goes from the episode. To the top. Anyway, so there's it. The staircase goes from the all the way from the basement, basement. to the second floor. So there's like a sizable gap that like yeah. a. You can look from the second floor to the basement is the point I'm trying to get at here. Is it a spiral my, case or like? Um, It's not spiral. It's just like, I don't oh, know. Yeah. It, yeah, I can, I can it's like a, yeah. like a half staircase and then a landing and then the other half of the staircase. Yeah. Uh, and then you're on the main floor and then the staircase and then there's a landing and then there's a staircase and then you're on the second floor. Now I'm yes. literally describing stairs. She's but the point is yeah. Yeah. she has wind socks. <laughs> Pardon me? Do you know what a wind are sock those the is? things that are outside the window that shows you the direction of the wind? No. Yeah, they're like they're they're the ones she has look like fish. They often look like fish, where it's like a circle mouth, and then the wind would go through it. So it's like a like a tubular flag. A tubular flag, yes. <laughs> I guess, but she has these massive wind socks that I think are Asian. I don't know where she got them from. But they hang. They're so big. They hang from the second floor to okay. the basement. basement yeah. Very random, but very cool. I was just, this was a very odd example for me to use of just like my mom has a lot of cool stuff in her house. But she just <laughs> sent me a picture of um, uh, a whole bunch of magic trick things from the 1950s. Wow. 
like sleight of hand. Yeah, like a bunch of like different. There was a bunch of like cool like canisters and yeah. boxes and like a thing where like you pretend to like saw something in half, but it's all like it's all really old. It's all it, like super cool. Yeah, but she's like <laughs> she's like oh this? like this is so cool. She's like yeah do you like do you want to have this? And like I know that she wants it. I know that she's asking me if I want it because she wants it. Oh. It is not my aesthetic at all. It's cool, but it's not like I have nowhere in my house that I would put. She's like, you just got to find a cool way to display it, and it's like, place where you oh can put my it? gosh, I'm like literally nowhere. And like the canisters, there were these cool like metal canisters that I could have put on my like streaming wall. That would have oh. been fine. But the other stuff is like deep, so like there's nowhere for me to. Put it. It's all oh, very yeah. bright colors. I don't have a lot of bright colors in my room. Anyway, um, so she's like, "I'll buy it for you and Eddie for Christmas." And I'm like, "I don't know how to really nicely tell you that this is very cool, but you really shouldn't spend this money. Like, they, it was expensive too. Like, yeah. like she sent me the listing. I could see how much it was. Oh, she, and I'm like, okay, please do not spend for... this much money on something that I am like, this is nifty. This could be, <laughs> you know, good for someone. Yeah." Yeah, but she's like, oh, I just like, I, I, I want to have it, but I don't know where I put it. I'm like, it totally suits you. Just do it. She's like, I've been told I need to stop collecting things. <laughs> but patting, patting off the other people, so you're yeah. collecting through proxy. Exactly. So yeah. she's just like, she just still wants to get this and yeah. then just pawn it off. It was like, it was, a, it was a really sweet thought. It was really nice. And it was like, the stuff was really cool. And like, I just have such a hard time when someone wants to do something nice for you yeah, to be no like... One. No, <laughs> like, I don't want this. My brother is so good at it. She'll, like, try to buy something for him, and he'll be like, no, mom, I don't want that. And she's Cash, like, please, okay. No. And I feel like I can't do that. I'm so bad at it. Have you tried asking for cash? Going, I could take the... No, that would be horrible. <laughs> See, I, could, I definitely couldn't do that. No, I want to try and um, I want to try and coerce them into building me a bench oh, for Christmas. Yes. That's what I want. That's it. Sounds so. like a good project. Yeah. Fel, yeah. Speaking of, of 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 baubles, Fel's father works at a glass blower factory. Whoa! Or, Does well, he fel- in fact glass- glow blo- glow glass? He's the janitor, <laughs> or he's okay. like the handyman, and he also helps out with the with the blowing and help it. But mm-hmm. so he gets like damaged goods for free, like when they have big. And these things have been like to the royal wedding. They are they are wow. one of the biggest things in Sweden, and we have some. Ex- extremely nice pieces of glass in this apartment Mm -hmm. that I don't know how to show off. (laughs) 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 And look at this bowl. This was made for the king. This is not his bowl. and This is mine. But he also bought (laughs) us, gave us big old glass baubles. Yeah. Like, hmm. Hmm. Imagine (laughs) a... I'm trying to f- f- find an object that is that the size of a s- smaller soccer ball. Uh, okay. Or, you have that, or like a a smaller American football ball. Yeah. Just yeah. Narrow it down. Yeah. Shrink it down. Sure. That I made out of glass, and he okay. said, "There's so this was free because it was damaged, and there's a chance it'll explode at any moment." <laughs> so that now resides in our in our cupboard. Where oh. every time I open, I play the game. It's sort of Schrodinger's cat because it might have blown up. Uh, it's a it, very nice uh, piece of glass. So it's like a I solid piece of glass. I didn't think glass could just spontaneously combust because there's a crack in it. Oh. Uh, and over time, that crack will grow, grow wider, and one day it'll go pop. So we can't keep it in the apartment because we don't know like how big of a pop when it's going to pop. Yeah. Well, so we, we I told you about thing. my. Yeah, did I tell you about my scale? Your. Sc- sc- I had a scale explode. What? Yeah. <laughs> yep, I know. It sounds bad and when you say it. It could happen to me because of other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't it's, see you exploding no. scales. So it happened. We were in our old apartment, we had an upstairs. <laughs> Yeah. And the scale was upstairs. I watched the staircase. Sorry. <laughs> Steep. Steep. <laughs> um, I was going to explain that our apartment only had like half an upstairs, but then I was yeah, like, this loft. is unimportant. It was a lot. You yeah. told this when you were talking about your strategy streaming. For those who listen to episode right. one. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So we had we had a scale upstairs and it just was like underneath the nightstand and we're both downstairs in the living room and all of a sudden we just hear like bang upstairs Jesus. and I'm like what the fuck was that? <laughs> sure enough we like go upstairs and the scale is just underneath the the thing but like shattered. It was just like glass all over the floor. It was like Jesus Christ. what? But it had like tempered glass. See, I knew tempered tempered glass. Yeah. Is that the Yeah. Tempered glass. Is I think that the? Because if you were to put real glass on a scale, that would happen. Yeah, a lot it would crack. Explode. Yeah, but I knew that that kind of glass could explode. Like yeah. they, there's stories about like shower doors exploding yeah, uh-huh. and um, like uh, outdoor glass tables exploding yeah. and stuff. Yeah, but I've I never, a... I've never heard of just like plain glass, like a vase exploding. I never made the connection of a, like a glass door shattering in the shower whilst you're in there. Just oh yeah, <laughs> having a good old shower. Yeah, a little rinsey poo, and then you, <laughs> suddenly there's blood. Yeah, cool. I mean it's not like a bomb. It's not like no, but shrapnel, still, I mean, but it's still like there's like glass <laughs> around. Me, um, no survivors. Yeah. Whole household I is mean, just glass. Your bathroom would be very wet. <laughs> your bath- yes. <laughs> That's how I like my bathroom. Broke. Very wet. Yep. Very wet. Um, how are you, friend? <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> or uh, I am. I am very, very, very happy in a very good mood. But I am completely and utterly spoonless. Oh no! Uh, I have a gig on Saturday with a band, and I didn't figure out how socially taxing it will be to hang out with three individuals and plan a set list, and then thinking about performing in front of a crowd with drunk people with no monitoring so that has really been (laughs) doing things with my brain but after saturday i'm gonna take a little little time and perhaps take monday off and just just recalibrate my brain Mm -hmm. We 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 went to a halloween party on saturday i went dressed as a a patient and fellow went dressed as my surgeon Mm mm-hmm and people thought I was dressed as Jesus. <laughs> it might be time for me to cut my hair and shave. <laughs> what a nice outfit. Are you Jesus? Yeah. <clears throat> That's why I have the crutches, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm Jesus. When he came back from the dead, it was really yeah. rough. He had to go to the hospital for a while. Jesus meet monitor. Yeah. Jesus after quarantine. <laughs> But it was apologies to all of our religious listeners. Yeah, sorry. (laughs) There were thirty people at that party. That's an insane amount of people. That's a lot of people saying hi, and there were that's exhausting. There were pop quizzes. Like he, the the host would pull out a card from from Trivial Pursuits, and he would read out a question. Then you yelled out your name, and then you could spin the wheel of fortune. That was either like punishment, like take a shot, or yeah, rewards. And I know rewards all of like take a shot. <laughs> yeah, well, there was also like candy prices, and I I'm always down for a candy price. Yeah, like I didn't have any Halloween card, mix. Uh, candy. I mean, very sad. So, so I I couldn't help myself but to yell out the name, my name, and then the, the answer because I know these things because I played Trivial Pursuit, and my mind mm-hmm. works in weird ways. <laughs> do you so have that kind do... of like memory for that stuff, yeah. like quiz memory, yeah. Yeah. trivia memory? It's, it's it's good in those situations. Yeah. But I, but I'm feeling there are there's other information that I could be using better than like how I knew you lived where you had a half loft. And I remember you telling us this in one of the first episodes because <laughs> which is, is amazing. Yeah. I don't know why my brain is like that. <laughs> so so my punishment for this was spinning the wheel and getting a dance battle. For those of you who don't know me, I am not a dancer. <laughs> I do not have the dancer's physique. Mm-hmm. I have not have the dancer's skills. But there's one song, and it's Tunak Tunak Tun. Do you know the song? No. That was. You played World of Warcraft. I did. The Drene. Yeah. How they danced. Yes. The dur- 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 oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. That's 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 what I got down. So that's what we did. Nice. Well, there you go. <laughs> I won. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, uh, I'm, still, I, I'm still recoiling in terror whenever, or, or cringing whenever I th- think about that moment. Yeah. I'm so glad there's a, camera phones now as well. 
Oh yeah, I'm I sure seeing everyone. That the day after I woke up, I'm over going. They posted this on Facebook. Thank you. Oh, Burn. that's mean. <laughs> can someone can someone forget the password or like have a short circuit the <laughs> Facebook again, please? See, I think that's I think that's horrible. We like there's not a lot of um, like. I don't know. I don't know if it's just something within our friend group that we kind of decided, A, not to have phones out yeah. when we're socializing. I think that's partially because I just call people fucking out on it and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going to have it. Yeah. Um, but, uh, wow, brain, come back, come back. <laughs> come I back, can brain. see it running away from me. <laughs> Piano music. Oh, but even when there's, even when there is like video. So the wedding I went to. Yeah. Um, in September, September, wild, October, I have no idea, October, um, September, wild, time October, has no passed, idea. <laughs> time, time has passed, wild, um, the wedding you went to, the wedding I went to, there was a very, like a couple of like really hilarious moments on the dance floor that did oh. get filmed. Oh. But they didn't get posted. Like, I feel like there's just like a respect thing amongst yes. our friends that it's like, this is clearly embarrassing. And you probably don't want this like on Instagram. Like none of my friends really use Facebook anymore. It's just Instagram. So yeah. it's like, oh, you know, they probably don't want this up there. But like, it'll still circulate within our friends. Like they'll show you in person this yeah, like Lauren, hilarious yeah. video, or it'll get sent to like a group chat or something. But like, Look, this is my blackmail folder. Not publicly. Yeah. <laughs> bless your. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I learned today that I shouldn't say bless your heart. Why? Because that's a southern thing where that, where that's an insult. Where is it's it? Like a, you're talking down, and someone go, "Oh, you bless your heart, you sweet thing." Is that you done? Oh. Bless your heart. Is, oh, oh, apparently I didn't dumb. know if it, I never saw it as like an insult. I saw it as a like, like a head pat, like, oh, bless your heart. I think it can be that. And it can also be like a proper head pat. But, oh, you, yeah, patting someone <laughs> down. There was, con there was conflict in my stream today on account of that. Because oh. I always say bless your heart to Fel when she sneezes. Yeah. My wife sneezes a lot, apparently. There's a counter, the bat shoe. <laughs> I recently learned that. Often when you sneeze in your house, it's because of dust mite poop. Are you Fun speaking facts. about my house? Because you said in your house. I'm, I'm, no, in houses in general. <laughs> oh, in, houses in, in houses in general. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um. Appar apparently, that's a thing. That might be it. Actually, I. I. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think so they're no, getting I'm their mail here now. The dust yeah. mites. <laughs> the whole I would hope so. They probably live there. Um. Sorry. I sneezed and then completely lost our train of thought. We were talking about Instagram. Oh, and, yeah. And just, showing, yeah. I yeah, would be horrified people, but that's if people thing, were like tagging going, me and you stuff. You can see this if I know you and we can, yeah. But Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just chose not to watch it and go, yep, mm. it's probably yep. me. I can see, <laughs> I can see the drunk bear dancing. Yep. I feel sure it's like, like, a, me. like yep. as a public figure, though, as well, we kind of have like... Yeah. To be a little bit careful about that stuff, too. Yeah, F from now you know? on, I will. <laughs> <laughs> now, whenever, like, me and my brother hang out or, or another group of friends, it's yeah. no cameras. Like, there's no... Whatever happens that night happens that night, and we don't ever yeah. talk about it again. <laughs> but, yeah, this was a group of... Like, I, I've known the host since I was 12, mm -hmm. and he's one of my best mates. And this was all the new people he've met. Wow. And then his his girlfriends or co-workers and, and friends. Yeah. So it was a lot of people. Yeah, that is a lot of people. That's too many people for me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Would be uncomfortable. I was the slamming beers as Fel was sitting there. She fell was sober. <laughs> oh gosh. And just watching this unfold. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, it's just too it's too many people. I was so I was supposed to go to an open mic night last night and that yes. was gonna be my It sounds like, like you didn't uh, first. <laughs> I did not, um, and not because I bucked out, oh. um, but because I got into a fight with my mother. <laughs> so oh. I had to go deal uh, with was that. Was it the, the magician set? <laughs> no, 
that was a today thing. Um, no, so it was okay. But I almost went to an open mic. I was like practicing and preparing yeah. before dinner. I was going to go. So it's going to happen wow. next week on Monday. I'm going to go. Cool. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Is it a local bar or? Okay. Um, semi-local. I mean, it's yeah. in the city, but it's not. There's not anything super local to me where I am. How far do you have to go? Kind of a drive. Oh, uh, like 10, 15 minutes driving. Yeah. The car. Yeah, yeah. Not that well, far. That's decent. Yeah. 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 I mean, it just, it's like, it's just past the center of the city. Okay. I know I could have said downtown, but I don't really mean downtown because Toronto downtown <laughs> is like huge. Yeah. But there's like kind of a center line to the city. Okay. And it, which is like Young Street and University. Street? And then it's, so it's just on the other side. I'm West End and it's in the East End. Okay, cool. So if that makes any sense. So, so it's so, not, it's so not far, week. far. Next week. Did you make a set list? No, because I don't know anything, which is horrifying what? to me. I don't know how many songs it is. I don't oh. know. Isn't that like, a good thing, though? Like, no, oh. I don't know. I it's like my first time going, so like I I don't know if it's like a time thing or if it's like a how many songs thing. Yeah. So I was just kind of like practicing stuff, deciding what guitar I was going to bring and how I was going to go about doing stuff, and yeah, and then it didn't end up happening. But next week. Next cool. week. Mm-hmm. I love going to new open mics. Do you? Well, I, yeah. And also like socializing with other musicians. And sitting there going, wow, they're talented. Going, wow, I'm not that talented. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it's fun. Um, I mean, I've met some, some real good people who I played with later on on open mics. Because usually people just play the songs they want to play. Mm-hmm. And then you realize, oh, you also like folk music. Cool. And then we can hang out and play old man music together and <laughs> play the guitar. Uh, um, I'm I'm excited about it. I don't know. I'm I'm excited and nervous at the same time. It just feels it just feels weird. But we're, I'm trying to get my sea legs back. That's what yeah, I'm of course, yeah. Because that's the first thing you need to do is just get up there and go, yep, hello. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Is My Saturday first... Saturday's your gig? Is that like your first like big gig? Like your first big show that yeah, you're doing? Yeah, since yeah, since COVID. Yeah, I did mm-hmm. the the thing here or the local the, the boat, but that was only like fifty people sitting down, uh, very very casually playing them songs while as they dined and then had drinks. Mm-hmm. This is more of. Uh, this is a small festival that the town holds every night or in every night. Wow. <laughs> But every November in that part yeah. of town, there's a thing called Bakkanatan, which is the Night of the Hills. Mm-hmm. It's situated in the hills of Malmo. And then we've played almost every year since 2011 on the same pub. And it's usually like, it, it should fit 70 people, perhaps. And it's always like 120 people. There's lines oh to the... Oh my gosh. There's, it's just a sea of people. And we play um, the Rage Against Machine, Lady Gaga, Alphaville, but in double tempo. <laughs> And oompa, wow. oompa, 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 oompa. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun when we were in Germany because it's like the perfect slam beers into your face and, and scream along <laughs> to the music. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be fun, but I also like dreading. And I've, as I said last time, I've become better and more proficient at my instruments. And I n- mm-hmm. know now how to do things I didn't know before. And I think about arrangement more. And now when we have had four times to practice, we have, haven't had time to like go through songs individually. Yeah. <laughs> and going, what are, I'm playing the same part as the banjo player. Why am I doing that? <laughs> well, <clears throat> so, but it's really going to be fun now. to just see people dance and sing along to their hearts. We rehearsed last night, we had like the dress rehearsal with the PA system. No, mm-hmm. oh, that brought people in from the bar, and they sat around clapping and going, oh, "Yeah, more, more, more encore!" Oh, no, no, oh, this is just nice. a sound check. So that was a good experience. That feels good. Yeah. yeah. It started out as a bluegrass band where we wanted to play like wagon wheel, <laughs> those kind of songs, because that was a big yeah. thing in Sweden for a while. Uh, and then it turned into like a folksy, bluegrassy Irish pop thing, and then yeah, yeah. So it's banjo, guitar. Uh, accordion and bass now cool we used to have mandolin and viola as well well that's cool 
I want to learn mandolin. Mandolin is on my on yeah. my list of things. Also same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's such a it loud cool. instrument, though. Yeah. It is. It's, it packs a punch. Sort of like mm-hmm. banjo. I also want to learn banjo, but Fel says we need to have a house and we need to have a shed. And then I can play in the shed as you see in the house. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that a lot. We were talking briefly before the podcast started about our, like, Sep- like our spaces like your apartment yeah. feeling cramped because everything is in one room and like i was starting to say that like i also feel cramped in my space and yeah. like there's not really a way for me to fix that which kind of sucks like there's yeah. nowhere for me there's to put no, other there's no other like things games where you can buy additional space <laughs> yeah <laughs> i can't go I out into rent, the I sky i can just unfold this wall and then yeah yes, huzzah yeah and like there's not really like i could try and rearrange stuff but just because of the way that my room is i'm kind of stuck with having the there's camera where the camera is space. and stuff yeah unless you start stacking things there's yeah and like i've moved the push controller now to not be on my desk anymore yeah. um because people like to see it and they they yeah. enjoy having it out and like i like having more space on the desk it just like does feel like <laughs> a little claustrophobic in the corner of my room now yeah so since I don't the push know. entered my desk it is my, what it uh, is. my desk has also become a bit more cramped mm-hmm. where i'm playing games i have to like sneak in my hand between my push and then on the keyboard <laughs> and then I have the mouse <laughs> well it's, it's worth it though did you end up streaming games, or did you just set up to stream games? I'm set up games to stream. So this Thursday, you'll you this will be passed when this when gets out. <clears throat> but on <Yep>. yesterday, <laughs> on yesterday, mm-hmm. on yesterday, uh, Apache Stone Shard was released. So I'm going to be streaming that. I've been looking forward to that since since April, uh, and they've said late summer was the release date when they announced the patch in, patch in April. Uh, apparently, we're now late summer. Super duper late oh, wow. summer. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but that was fun making the overlay for, uh, for like figuring out where do I want the camera if I were to have. Yeah. And that was from, from Amy from Lidosha, where she said, mm-hmm. look at the, like the game and see how you can fit something in with the theme of the game. Yeah. And then I just went into GIMP <laughs> mm-hmm. and stole some, some borders and put nice. them around the camera. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, Thanks. Spoiler I'm, alert. I'm, it looks great. I'm, fits I'm super well. Pleased. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, could feel, I can't believe that I'm able to do these things now. Photoshop scared the living bejeebus out of me like <laughs> one and a half years ago. Where I thought, that's, yeah. a, that's some sort of sorcery. When people go, oh, you want that? Blah, 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 blah. Your face yeah. is now a donkey going, how did you do that? Wow. And now I know that's just like a transform tool. And Yeah. 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 It all suddenly it, it becomes accessible. That's yeah. very, very cool. Today I had to show my certificate of bad boyery. Mm-hmm. I was I, I there's a thing in chat where I'm a certified bad boy, which we all know mm-hmm. that I am. But someone on Discord asked, "Can I see your diploma?" <laughs> and I whipped one up in Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Good Very for proud. you. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. From the board of bad boys. Yeah. Um. No, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, signed by the baddest boy. That was unnecessary to say. But now I've said it anyway, and I'm going to have a sip okay. of tea. Okay. <laughs> um, speaking of tea. Oh? That was such a segue. This is a segue. <laughs> um, I have a spice. <laughs> 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 oh, we're going the chai root of this. Oh, the chai finger. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to I wanted to bring up a topic that we've talked about before, mm-hmm. um, because it keeps it keeps coming up, and I mm-hmm. I had a conversation with Ghost slash my partner slash Eddie about this mm-hmm. um, at some point in the last couple of weeks about Twitch's revenue split. But yeah. a little bit deeper than that. So it is not uncommon on YouTube for people that post on YouTube to openly criticize YouTube. Yeah. Like, it's very common 
a lot yeah. of people will will speak badly about something that YouTube is doing as a company or they'll, you know, speak out about this or they'll complain about this. Like recently YouTube got rid of the dislike button yeah. and people were very like actively speaking out against it. Never mind. Yep, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. But it feels like people are loathe to speak out against Twitch in the same way. So when oh, when the hate raids were happening, not all of Twitch, I think specifically music Twitch is yeah. very I don't know, but like when the hate raids were happening, it a lot of people were speaking out against Twitch and it was easy for everyone to kind of um get behind that. Yeah. But I feel like there are a number of things that Twitch does that are worthy of criticism, but I wanted to know if you had any thoughts as to why it kind of feels like we can't criticize Twitch the same way that people on other platforms can criticize yeah. those platforms. You know, people on TikTok criticize TikTok. And it's not this isn't to say that no one criticizes Twitch, but it just seems a lot more like like <laughs> there's a lot more like bootlicking when it comes to Twitch yeah. where it's like <laughs> For sure. Like, even, um, like, I mean, on one hand, there's every time someone posts about the the revenue split. Yeah. There are droves of people that will defend Twitch in the replies. With them, yeah. yeah. It's horrible. Like, they just attack the person who's posted being like, streaming is easy. If you didn't want to stream, you shouldn't stream. Yeah. This is just the way it is. Da, 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 da. And it's like, Why? Why? <laughs> Why do you suddenly defend Twitch? Nowhere else that hosts video yeah. or any other service takes as big of a cut as Twitch does. Yeah. But no those one. Aren't live either, right? YouTube is. YouTube live. Yeah. You can be live. You can stream. Yeah. You can yeah. stream live on YouTube. You can stream live you on can, TikTok. You can stream music live on on YouTube though. Yeah. You cannot. <clears throat> can you not? No. Okay. You can play your original music on, on YouTube. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. And, okay, and I can see that. if you were to play a cover and you get a DMCA strike, they remove your channel. Wow. Rough. Which is, bro um, which, which is what brought me to Twitch. <laughs> 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 All their DMCA things aside on that we yeah. can have VODs, uh, Twitch has paid the the fee to have... For for live, yeah. Nice, yeah. 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 And, and like, it's regardless like... Of that. But talking, and, speaking... Sorry. <laughs> I was just going to, just to conclude, like, yeah. every time someone says, like, oh, but other platforms don't charge as much, people are like, oh, well, then go to those platforms. And it's like, yeah. no, there's other things wrong with those other platforms. But it, this yeah. is the problem, is that... That doesn't mean if this you, has to be... Yeah. yeah, is that Twitch kind of gets away with a lot just by by being Twitch. But it feels like we can't really speak up against it there's the new thing for the music community that is super vague and yeah. super unclear and it's it's like everyone's like yeah this sounds super cool and tracy's like share it everywhere and it's like yeah. i have a hard time sharing it because i don't know what it is like i've signed up for it yeah. knowing that i'm probably not going to get in but I, like they didn't explain anything about it they're just like here's this yeah. thing and then, like, a vague post and a vague video, and then it's like, okay. The old hype video? These are our creators yeah. doing things. Apply <laughs> yeah. today. Yeah. yeah. And so it's just, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'm curious to know so, your okay. thoughts. <clears throat> YouTubers criticizing YouTube is usually on YouTube recorded long format where they talk about the platform. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it is very difficult to speak on Twitch for your limited because it's live. Yeah. I would find better use of my time than complaining to my viewers about issues. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I, but even past Twitch, like I think like even on like, Twitter, like watching people defending Twitch so much on Twitter. This is why it's always need, so bizarre. We need a union. Mm. That would be like the way to go around it and go, yep, these are our terms. This is what needs to change. Instead of people screaming into the uh, abyss that is Twitch or Twitter and people just because people can interject themselves in any conversation, which uh, yeah. which is very good and also very bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And trying to, yeah, I don't know how to, I think we just need to like organize. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that would be the way to go around and just asking people in like private and DMs going, hello, <laughs> we're doing this. <laughs> can we leverage this? Like on having the unions and, or I don't know. 
But yeah, it's yeah. it's it's weird that we don't criticize Twitch as much. I don't have. Do you that know much why? To... I don't. I don't criticize much in my life, though. So <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, not usually I've, very verbal like, to about be clear, my. There's not a ton to criticize, but, you know, they do make certain decisions and sometimes creators will speak out about yeah. those decisions and, and not being happy about them. But like, I don't know, it just feels like it's on and, such but, a different and, scale. Yeah. And, but they're a company at the end of the day as well. And they, uh, yes, mm -hmm. they, they're doing this for, for profit. There is no yeah, doubt they don't care. this is for profit. So they don't give <laughs> yeah. a shit about, yeah. I don't like this. No, I don't. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't care about yeah, your I don't care. because I'm making money. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, I've just decided to not think about it and just go, yep, mm -hmm. keep my head down. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's mostly what I do too. I find that I only ever get caught up in thinking about it when I do see people the tweet about splits. something, and then yeah. yeah, and then for some reason the masochist in me has to go read the comments, and I know what's going to be in there. I know that everyone's well, going to be tearing that person yeah. down, but I still go and I still read it. I don't know. Why, I don't yeah. know why I do that, but it's yeah. I don't know. It's just it, it feels like a like a strange thing. But so the Twitch tour thing that I did, I finally got my yeah. box of stuff. Yeah. Your swag. Um, and this is this also kind of made me think about think about this again. Yeah. You know that like, and this is a deeper conversation. But we talk a lot about gratitude on this podcast and yeah. how grateful we are for everything that we have. And this yeah. is, I think, part of the problem is that we it is possible to be both grateful and critical at the same time. Yes. You know what for I mean. Sure. I think sometimes it's easy to be like, well, I can't be upset about this because, because it's yeah. done all of these good things for me as well. And that's not true. You can be grateful for something while also acknowledging its faults. So yep. that being said, I got this swag box from Twitch. My first ever swag box from a company. It was very exciting, but I'm sure. Yeah. I'm, it I'm, had a I'm, lot I'm, of like high quality items in it. Yes. And when I started thinking about how much it cost them yeah. to send out these boxes to all mm -hmm. of the people that participated in the Twitch tour, mm -hmm. I was like, that's a crap ton of money. Yeah. And like some of the stuff in there was useful, you know, like there was like, um, like a, like a coffee tumbler thing oh. that said twitch on the side of it but like a yeah. really good brand like travel mug there was a nice hat there was this weird like fidget popper oh, thing yeah. that they got yeah. like manufactured in the mm -hmm. twitch like logo shape but the most obscene item that they gave us was a mouse pad that is massive <laughs> Yeah, I don't, it doesn't uh, yeah. even fit on my desk, but it's an RGB mouse pad. So you can plug it in and it will light up around the edge and it says what? Twitch on it. And I look at it and I'm like, this cost you so much to manufacture yeah. that I think you could have sent all of the partners that went on this Twitch tour, the hat and the mug. They would be happy. And everyone would be just as happy. And you could have taken the money. That you were that you spent on this merchandise, yeah. and give it to people in money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like if they're sending out these boxes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's like, you know, at the very least, giving higher splits for partners. You know, like yeah. if you look at that 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 split, like I think they could save money certainly on me. By giving a 60-40 split on yeah. my tier one subs instead of sending me a box of, like, a yeah. ton of different items, you know? like And, like, but I don't know how much also, this stuff costs. Obviously, they get it manufactured super cheap because they're Amazon, but, like... Yeah. And it's also I, brilliant <laughs> marketing. <clears throat> Y'all went and posted about this. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. single one is like, look at my swag! Yeah, I was fucking now. excited about it. I was, you and know, I was super stoked. Their streams or their vods, there's Twitch merch everywhere now. It's a brilliant way of of uh, of marketing. Yeah, it's it is it is super smart. But I think they could have sent just the tumbler and the hat, and it would yeah. have been fine. But you now know, you got instead a of all the other things, RGB mouse pad. 
I, it's in my closet. I don't know what to do with it. I might give it away. <laughs> it's for Clive. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the size of Clive. It's can huge. You hang it on the wall? No. I mean, Perhaps, you could yeah. like, if you really yeah, yeah. wanted to, but it'd be odd. I used I it for a little while a- and it just took up so much space. I think it's a good. I I I would I would love Swagbox. Yeah, I'm just and like that's like, the thing. Like what's it called? I don't gratuity is that what it's called or like one of those free things where they show you yeah. that you appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I and that like this is the problem, right? Is that like I'm super grateful that I got this box, and I'm super happy to be a partner that got to participate in this conference. But also, <laughs> yeah, it could have. Yeah, of course. But yeah. Right. I see. I, I understand exactly what you mean. And it feels like you can't complain. Like, oh, you're so sad you got this box of free stuff. It's like, no, I'm happy that I got this what box I'm of free stuff. I want a bigger but I split. can't help. Yeah. But I can't help <laughs> look at this like, box of yeah. stuff. And there were 250 people in my day. Yeah. I'm and that believing. event ran I for like put- two weeks. Like yeah. that's so many boxes and so much money on yeah. like shipping on all of that stuff that it's just like the it's my point is more that like the people who are crying that Twitch needs every last cent is like if Twitch needed every last cent, they wouldn't be shipping out RGB mouse pads the size of but my would dining you, room would table. You want a sixty forty split for all partners? Yeah. Absolutely. Across the board when you get partnered, you get sixty forty. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You and used to be do. able to immediately negotiate a better revenue split. You yeah. can't do that anymore. No. Like, I I don't think 60-40 would break their bank in any way. Oh. You know? Yeah, if they gave us it, they would. Nope, we're bankrupt. Yeah. Yeah. Like. I know that there are. Yeah. Uh, For those of you wondering as well, tier, tier one subs uh, are 50-50. Yeah. And and higher tier subs are usually a better split. Yes. Which is good knowledge to to impart to people as well when they ask about perks with subscribing at a higher tier, is that the the creator gets more of that, that sweet money. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, it is good. It is it is just difficult. It's difficult to it's difficult to encourage people to subscribe sometimes because I would rather if they were going to spend the money, I would rather they spend it on Patreon. Yeah, uh, of course. You know, yeah, or, we'll or go, spend or it PayPal. somewhere else. Just, yeah. yeah, or just donate yeah, it to exactly. Yeah, just don't don't spend five dollars and then I get two dollars of that. Spend five dollars and I get four dollars and ninety eight cents. You know, because of the PayPal fee or whatever. Like it, it I don't know. It's it's difficult because then Twitch also looks at your subs and when they consider you for events like the collectives or yeah. being on the front page and stuff like that, they're looking at your sub numbers and how it's much like you make, well, yeah. how great. much you make the company. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. all a numbers game for them. Mm-hmm. It's all about profit for them. And that's yeah. why like I understand why they won't change it. And I don't I don't I think really the the conclusion is I don't blame Twitch for what they're doing. Yeah. I just don't need people to attack yeah. other Let's, people yeah. for wanting a better split. Going like, out of the way going, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like telling people that, that what they do for their job is their choice and that them wanting to get paid more for that is stupid. Yeah. Like that's, it's just, it's just rude. Like Twitch is a company and they want to make money and that's the end of the statement. Don't try and justify it. They are yeah. a company that want to make money. And yeah, they're not here to make people happy. That is not their, their, I mean, I guess that's their goal through their creators, but it's yeah. profit is first and foremost their, their Absolutely. goal. Absolutely. And they were thinking, no, no, they're doing this for, for the music or for the gaming. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Have, have you considered the fact that people spend money on you, like a subscription to your channel? Oh that yeah, it's like wild. half a Netflix <laughs> subscription. Mm-hmm. That is half a Netflix subscription where they can watch any movie, any series, at any hour of the day. <laughs> and yet these people give you, one person, half a Netflix. Did I talk about this last week? Not sure. No. No. I started thinking about this last week and I got real going, what the hell? <laughs> and then isn't it wild number? to like think from there that they pay you half a Netflix subscription and then you get only half of that? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you get hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you, and we are like like a channel mm-hmm. production company. We're, but we're, mm-hmm. we're directors and everything, and they, they pay our our salary for that. Yeah. It's wild. <laughs> it is wild. It is wild. It's I, funny. I'm sitting here right now, already feeling bad for being critical of Twitch. Why? Because You're... Twitch has changed my entire life. And this is yes. the problem is that Twitch, I'm so grateful for everything that Twitch has done that any time that I try to be critical of it, I immediately feel like an asshole. <laughs> but it's not like you're talking about a person. You're talking no. about an entity that is larger yeah. than us. like, And it needs to be addressed. <laughs> if it was a person and they, they gave me this much, but I want more, that would be an asshole move. But when mm-hmm. you talk about like terms and conditions, because it's built upon other people's kindness, it's weird. And you're yeah. allowed to ventilate what you feel about <laughs> the company that you're not even working for. Yeah. Which is weird because we're not working for Twitch. We're not but hired we're making by Twitch. them money. <laughs> yeah, we're not in any way associated with them, less that we pipe our 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 brand of stuff through their system Mm -hmm. and that's how people consume it that is our only like touch point with twitch Mm -hmm. that all sadly i would love like to be more involved but (laughs) but as it stands now that is all we do Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, so yeah if you could change anything about twitch what would you change and that's broad, like like wow. it could be yeah. like the platform or the chat or the emotes or the money or I don't know. If you could change, if you could change something, what would you change? I have no idea. I haven't even thought about that. I, just, <laughs> I haven't thought about that, that you could change things. It's just okay. They, these are the rules. I will. <laughs> this is Squid Game. Uh. Wow. Uh, I would say perhaps more emotes that would be fun mm-hmm. <laughs> more more money Lebowski would be also be fun <laughs> I don't know I think that's what I would like I don't know I don't know if I have a oh no I know what I would want to change I would want to change their interactions with the creators when we ask them questions mm-hmm. I would love for them to have a spokesperson or someone who could actually address the the, the creators and when you get declined for partner mail, for partner, the email yes. you receive is boilerplate, the same thing. Yes. Did you see that there was another answer the, the, this week or the last week? Where they who? said that they were looking for partners to have uh, like a hundred concurrent viewers. That was the reply. I've never seen that. It's explicitly in, in the who? email. To who? But just someone who applied for partner, who got, the, who, who showed their rejection letter. Oh, on Twitch yeah. or, some, or on Twitter? On Twitter, yeah. Yeah, and I I don't think that's a good. <clears throat> first of all, I don't think you should show your rejection rejection letters. <laughs> I don't know if that's under NDA. Anywho, but I I I've so. never seen them specifically say you need about a hundred concurrent viewers because all we got, me and Alana, when we got ours, were we can see that you're on the right trajectory. We just just want to keep you under observation for another month or so to see that you're still mm-hmm. heading the same way. But see, I had kind of and put the pieces all. together. That it yeah. was that they were looking for a hundred, because my average was a was well above seventy five. Yeah. By the time I got it, it was closer to a hundred at that at that yeah. point in time when they when I finally got it. And I yeah. uh, looking around at other people, I was like, oh, I think that I think that that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for seventy five anymore. Yeah. That's that a lie. Just to apply, and then yeah. yeah. But but like having them be more transparent about yeah what they want and now the collective thing not knowing the rules for this like Mm -hmm. as we said it's hype video music creators apply now and going okay did you and people are saying that it's only for us and canada yeah did you see that i i I saw that somewhere but i can't remember times i haven't seen anything about it and it doesn't make sense for it to be only us and canada i think my biggest gripe with the collective thing I mean, my two gripes with the collective thing, my biggest one is that I have no sense of like what the time commitment is. So when they're yeah. like, you need to share this with your other fellow music streamers and it's like, I don't know what this is. 
I don't know what the ask is. I don't know what the time commitment is. I don't know what the benefits or the costs yeah. are. Like, there's obviously going to be some sort of like time thing. Like, if you're putting us into groups and expecting us to do something together or expecting something from us, which is, I imagine, what it is, like, I think it's in part a ploy to get people who aren't streaming yet to, to yeah, join course. in and they'll put them in these collectives and then the collectives will help. That's a huge time commitment for a lot yeah. of people if that's what if that is in fact what they're asking for. And so it's difficult for me to say like, "Oh yes, you should join this thing." When I'm like, "I don't know what it I don't know how much time they're going to ask for it." And then my other yeah. my other gripe is that like I'm used to getting rejected by Twitch at this point. It's old hat for me. So yeah. I'm fine with the fact that I might get rejected for this, but I don't want other people to have to feel that, and I don't know that they're going to tell you why you didn't get in if you yeah. don't get in. And I think people deserve to know if they don't get into something, why they didn't get in. Yeah, for sure. So I am thinking we, we mm -hmm. will see how this, how this pans out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking they, they're going to make more than one group. They're going to make groups for singer songwriters. That's what it seems like. For, it, for yeah. DJs. And they're going to make separate groups in the singer songwriter genre with people who have complementary strengths. Yeah, and to make people grow, and I'm thinking the same thing you're thinking that they're trying to bring in new, bigger talent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that is signed with Amazon Music or or whatever. Or and, with who did they uh, sign with? Was it Warner? They signed like an agreement with, I think. Yeah, if you, yeah. And like, I think that's a cool way to do it. I think integrating the new artists into the community is interesting. But this will I think be the something way we that give I'm them leg legitimacy. Or yeah. Like a, <laughs> I think what I'm worried about is that it's going to create unintentional divides between creators. Like oh. if they're like one of the things they say in the video is that they're going to group people together based yeah. on the stages that you're at in your career. And so it's like, to me, that sounds like they're going to take all of the biggest creators and put them in a bucket together. Or they're going to have mentors. You know, it would be nice if it was mentors and it would be nice if it was style. Like, it'd be cool to, yeah. like, group people together and be like, you guys would mesh really well together. I That's just can't see that. I hope so, but I just I'm, don't know. I 100% believe in, in, in Tracy. Um, he seems like a really good dude. Uh who has a very, 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 very good business sense. <laughs> and I think that he can, through that, also help us monetize our music and get out of our, our, our shells. I think that could be good. Uh, and I also hope, <laughs> I mean, it could also be a, if they were to pay you for your time, if they were to go like, okay, we want you to mentor this group, we'll pay you this much. Would you do it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Because yeah. I'd probably do it for free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we but need to edit that out, Elena. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if they like, if they offered me a spot and they were like, "Hey, we want you to do X, Y, Z," and it would help yeah. the company and and blah blah, like obviously I would I would do yeah. that. I I believe in Tracy. I like Tracy. I just I don't know. I don't He's I don't know. Bat piece. I mean, I love the guy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like Tracy. I just don't know anything yet. Like, he no. seems very supportive and he seems very lovely and I'm like just he's at his doing track things. Record, and I've seen but, interviews with him. Yeah, okay. So you know more or than like, I do. Listen you to know him on podcasts and stuff. So. Yeah. I have, nothing, I have nothing against him. I just don't yeah. know him very well. You have a gripe with Twitch and their, yeah, their usual BS. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's weird when there's. there's there... The split between b b content creators, but mm -hmm. we are also competing all against each, each other in in <laughs> in the end. Um, it's weird. Yeah, it is weird, and I don't I don't like that it it feels like a competition, and I think maybe that's like maybe that's why my back is up about this is because the last few things that Twitch has attempted to do were competitions to boost and, and, and the, the whole, music yeah. side of Twitch was competition based. And I hate that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping that they, 
some sort of better just cu curating of the music scene would be good on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Making it easier to browse or like their tags are. Yes. Yes. I guess are good for games and, and like that thing. Doesn't really work that well with music. And like if you could make smaller commune, I don't know, like a subset of. <laughs> yeah, I agree like with you. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry. yeah, and I mean, maybe that is what this is they're looking at because yeah. that would be really freaking cool. Like, yeah. if if because of if based on the collective that you're in, you get you apply for this, and then yeah, you get shown in different places because of where you are and so they are able to get direct people to you easier because exactly. of that which um, they did kind of allude to that and like that would be that would be really cool but i also think that that could have been something that people could have put together themselves yeah. in a way you know but like i don't know hmm? have we? yeah i mean kind of <laughs> we have <laughs> yeah and and also since they now stopped teams sort of or they just just killed mm -hmm. all their team support. Um, I think the collective will be good for musicians, hopefully. And yeah. I, I'm guessing just what they want, same as YouTube. They want you to stay stay on there. They want you as a viewer to keep watching. And if they can curate a list for you, <laughs> where you as a viewer find your favorite creator, and then they're a bunch with other people who will fit well with what you like, mm -hmm. you'll be there all day watching yeah. those sweet ads, making that sweet <laughs> revenue for Twitch, subscribing. Yeah. That is, the other, that is the other piece of the puzzle that people that yell about revenue split forget, is that YouTube makes all of its money from ads. All yeah. of its money. Twitch is making so much money from ads They're and then bank, also yeah. directly yeah. from other people, you know, like people Being seem to forget the amount people. of, yeah. yeah, they seem to forget the amount of ad revenue that they are making. Um, sure. I was so mad. I raided into someone the other day and oh. immediately got hit with a minute and a half long ad. Wow. It was so, it was a movie trailer. I couldn't skip it. You're not supposed to get ads as a partner when you're rating. No, I was watching. I was oh, watching, watching yeah. someone and then they raided in a, and I got immediately I caught up into a, an ad. People might not um, know this. Uh, if you're a partner and, you, and you're sitting there going, who should I raid? You do not get ads when you're, when you're rating. Yeah. When, you, when you're browsing. But so it just makes... Content live, no ads. Bum, oh my bum, God. Bum. The big, <laughs> <laughs> the long haul of a, applying for partner, getting partner for the sole purpose of ad free viewing on Twitch. Yeah, forever. The man's been live for two and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> Why have you been live for so long? No ads. <laughs> I've been watching everything. I have 19 tabs open. <laughs> Do you do you ever run ads on your stream? No. Yeah, I did once when the stock I rated and they said and they oh, said yeah. run ads because they like ads. Cuz if you do that then you don't get ads on your channel for x amount of minutes. A 30 I think. minutes window. Yeah, you don't get any pre-rolls. Cuz I I wonder if I should be doing that. Like it bothered me so much when I rated in and just got hit with an ad and it's like I think about when I get rated, especially if it's like a big raid. How many people I want to make a really good impression. And yeah, I think if I was rating in. someone that I didn't know or that I kind of knew of and I didn't really care, yeah. I would have left yeah. Yeah, <laughs> in sure. the span of that ad, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I wonder if it makes more sense to be, to be running, running ads every once in a while. The thing is, what do you do during the ads? Because your subs don't get ads. Yeah, you just chat, I think. Yeah. I think you just run it. I set it up a long time ago to have a to have a timer for a minute that yeah. would just run and I would set the I would I would play an ad and then the timer would would go and then that would yeah. be the amount of time. I know I think Andy used to dance. Oh. She used to do like a dance like a dance party while the ad ran. 
Um, she was very smart about it. Charlie does one at the beginning of his stream. Um, during his starting soon? During or? his like starting yeah. soon, which is also smart. I think that yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a weird Yeah, because they have pre-rolls as well, yeah. Just with the pre-rolls being so long. Yeah. A minute is too long. <laughs> it's too damn long. Too long. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's wild. But yeah, mm. perhaps ad breaks. Just sad if that coincided with you playing a song. <laughs> or you yeah, see, I wouldn't... 20 seconds to go... <clears throat> and then quickly... <laughs> Yeah, it's like it, like I, I think at one point I was considering doing like a one minute loop that was just like a oh. I would set something up for the minute while the ad was going and then. But I mean, I mean if you're running up to the if you have the timer set for the ad to start at the full hour, if you have oh. 59, yeah. Oh, you, I think you just have to do it. You do it manually, right? And you just hit also the your mods can do it. I think. Oh, interesting. So you can just Because, yeah, I think go. if we're just, like, sitting around and chatting during a period of time, yeah. it'd be pretty easy to be like, okay, we're going to run an ad. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. It's something I've been thinking about. <clears throat> did I tell you what I did on Friday, by the way? I raided you afterwards. But you I'm did. sorry I didn't stick around because my brain was fried. It's okay. <laughs> First... Or community challenge was I would just stare into the camera for 30 minutes straight. Oh, yes. They told me about this. I tried to do it. For like a minute, and I couldn't yeah. even last a minute, so I don't know how you managed it. I had Pine Branch in my headphones telling me which songs to play. And oh I couldn't my look at my hands or do anything. I was just looking right into the lens for 30 minutes, <laughs> didn't break eye contact once. I drank, <sighs> fell handing me a ball, and I drank looking through the camera, played every song. <laughs> it was wild. And then, as, as for me, the reward for doing this was that someone banned two words. I... And you. <laughs> and then someone requested Follow Me by Uncle Cracker. And the first words of that song is, You don't know how you met me, you don't know how. <laughs> that second you, I never saw coming. <laughs> and then I got thrown into a loop of playing Wonderwall, and I would walk 500 miles, but Misa would walk 500 miles. Oh my gosh. It was 15 minutes of hell. My brain was just <laughs> in shambles. Yeah, I can imagine. That sounds it really fun, fun, though. But but looking to the camera, like being able to do that for 30 minutes straight, not looking Wild. at my fretting hand or anything, or, yeah. And you couldn't read chat? I couldn't read chat, no. I See, that, no would, I that, that would bother my brain so much. I had much. to ask Fel to turn off my monitors, because I could see chat flying by, like in my peripheral. Yeah. So I had to ask Fel to, to shut down my screens. That's really funny. So I wouldn't funny. be tempted. And I, he I heard Pine's sultry voice in my ears saying, <laughs> Play Let Me Inside by Stephen Lynch. And I would look <laughs> into the, in the camera. That's it was very fun. Funny. I'm going to yeah. see if I can come up with more challenges. That's very cool. I've, I've been blindfolded <laughs> before for 30 minutes. That was easier. Because then you can like close your eyes and you can lean into the song and just sit there and, and vibe. But yeah, staring. I just play. <laughs> really, staring is hard. They're not being able to read chat while that's happening. Yeah, that's impossible. Feeling the feeling of being left out. <laughs> yeah, going. Oh yeah, I want to. I want to chat. Happening. Yeah, and people who who know which songs I don't really know that well mm -hmm. by heart. Like this one song that always trips me up. Yeah, Wayne Johnson. You brilliant bastard. I'll say this to you again. You brilliant <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I called him that on Friday as well. Because I was <laughs> impressed and upset. Uh, uh -huh. I think he, he took it as a compliment. And Wayne, you are... That's I good. know that you're listening. You're magical, Wayne. <laughs> he is. Um, wow. I was going to say something I forgot. What? Wow. If you look at the time... <laughs> How? Wow! <laughs> wow! wow. wow. <laughs> did I um? Did I tell you what I'm up to on stream? <gasps> no. What I'm going slow, stream? Theo. You're going slow. slow. My 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 theme, my new theme. It's the cozy thing. Is slow. Are you talking slow. like this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just slow mo. No, I just slow like. Sorry. <clears throat> So I realized 
that, and this is something I, I already knew about myself. I'm not a super perfectionist, yeah. but I try to do as good of a job as quickly as possible, always. <laughs> yeah. So that is difficult for me when I'm looping, oh. because if I screw oh. up something in the loop, uh-huh. I will either just like stop or I'll just like let, let it let it be mm. but I'll I won't fix it. Like I'll either I'll either kill the loop entirely or I will um just kind of like like loop over it or whatever or just mm-hmm. like not have that part be part of the loop anymore. And I realized that I also often wouldn't loop in multiple layers. I always knew that I could and I know how, but to me, the setup for that would take too long to have to set up like a piano and a bass and a guitar Mm -hmm. track for the verse and then a piano and a bass and a guitar track for the chorus Mm -hmm. plus like any sort of harmonies or whatever. Um, The drums can usually be multifaceted, but like I was always like, that takes too long. People are going to get bored. They don't get bored, Theo. They no. really like it. They're there yes. for the journey, and I'm here for the journey. And so, literally, oh, yeah. last Tuesday was the first day. What? They're there for you. Oh. They're there to see what you're doing musically. That's really. I'm nice. sorry to say this to you, but you're amazing, and they enjoy what you're doing. You could probably sit there throwing apples at the window, and then go, "Yes, more." <laughs> <laughs> Little well, apples. Of course, then humming uh, as you're throwing the apples to make it music. That's but, very yeah. that's very nice. Thank you. But it's it's true. It's yeah. true. And I and I'm when learning you enjoy that. what you're doing. They enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. And it's yeah. something I've said. I've said it to other people so many times. I just never realized how that translated to myself. That I don't have to be like song, 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 song. I can take time and like make something really beautiful. Like I covered Kevin's ridiculous oh, yeah. song yeah. About, <laughs> about the girl going down on the sailors um i covered that last week but i made it really cool and yeah. like nice and it's just been nice to like take that time and to just like take a breath and enjoy like i'm so excited to stream tonight because tuesdays yeah. are always our like coziest times and so to really like settle into that <clears throat> is very exciting so, yeah. I get fucking furious nowadays <clears throat> when people come <laughs> in and go, play. Like when you're talking to someone, when you're, when you're having a moment, you're talking to chat and someone, yeah. some new asshole comes and goes, play. You get and that always... so much more than I do. I don't know why. What? What? But you get that way more than I do. Like uh, people don't often come in and, and like they'll come in what... and say like, play this. <laughs> stupid metal song no, and i'll be no, like no it's no. Not, not play this song it's just yeah. music play yeah see don't i don't talk. get that like at all ever and i always know i did this today i call them sir and i explained why i call them sir because my mm. preconception is that an asshole of that magnitude has to be male using their privilege going <clears throat> yes <clears throat> you're not doing what i want right now please yes yeah uh, Absolutely. so i i had words today <laughs> I hate that that happens to you because it's, it's, it's fine. as it's you also said, fun now because I can get worked up in my role of like I can now lean into it, going, "Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you showed up now at all times to tell me in my stream you walked in." <laughs> yeah, it's it's fun. <laughs> yeah. I like as you said to me, it is a shame that those people exist because the people that are in your stream are enjoying yeah. hanging out with you and chatting yeah. with you and just being there with you and to then have some asshat come in and be like, oh, play a song. <laughs> play I just it? got here and you're not playing a song. <laughs> I want instant what I want to hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've... Um, Cheeto fingers recently, smashing the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, There's well, nothing wrong with uh, Cheeto fingers, Alana Maddie. <laughs> I consume I though I consume my Cheetos now with a fork. Like I haven't had a person. Cheeto in years. <laughs> or, is there yeast in Cheetos? There's probably no. Yeast I it's just right. it's just not something that I reach for when I'm thinking I want a crispy snack when I'm at the store. I never. No, I don't think I've ever bought Cheetos in my life. I don't know if we have Cheetos in Sweden. We have cheese doodles. 
But then you have to let Similar. them sit for a, for a day, and then they get all all chewy and wonderful. Oh. And you can also steam them if you want them chewy the same day that you buy them. You put them Weird. into a steamer, and then you steam them for a minute, and okay. then you put them into That's a bowl, wild. and then you grab a fork, and then you <laughs> stab them with a fork or chopsticks. <laughs> Wow. And then you don't have Cheeto fingers. <laughs> I mean, at least then you don't have Cheeto fingers. A PSA fingers. from Theodore Elving. <laughs> I am sus as to your cheese doodle uh, eating habits, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I'm more of a chip chip person than a I, Cheeto same person. Here. Mm-hmm. I, but if, I mean, if there are cheese doodles that have been purchased for me by my wife, I'll go, I'll... I'll, I will find it in my heart to uh, devour that whole bag in one sitting. Mm. I've been um, I've been very grateful. One of our one of my like OG mods yeah. left for a while and is back now, um, and he's amazing. And I've I've missed him a lot, um, especially because all of my mods are in the same time zone, <laughs> except ah. for him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's actually not true. There's two that aren't. Yeah. But one of them usually works during, like, works, like, night shifts anyway. So, like, they oh, yeah. are often working during my Wednesday stream. Wednesday's my one, like, daytime during work stream. And so it's always, like, the mods who can kind of be there are there, but not frequently because they're having to work and, like, do other stuff. And so, like, but it, it's been really nice having this one mod back. And even, it well, Brittle Star, I appreciate you. I don't know if you listen yeah. to podcasts, but I appreciate you. It's really nice having you back. But, like, there was someone who was just, like, really irritating in my stream on Friday, I think. No. Yeah. Oh, no, Wednesday. or Yeah, Friday during the day. I did a daytime stream on Friday. And they had had to step away for a bit, this mod. And so there was no one else there. It was just me. Um, and, like, he came back later and he's like, by the way, just getting caught up on the VOD, like, sorry, I couldn't, I had to step away for a meeting, otherwise I would have banned this guy who was super irritating, but he's gone now. <laughs> like, oh, nice, thank you. <laughs> Don't let the boot Because he was, like, yeah. it's, it's those people that are, like, on the edge of being annoying, or on the, on the edge of bannable, where it's, yeah. like, you're new... You're saying the same thing over and over again. You're kind of constantly begging for attention. So, like, what had happened was I was ending my stream, and he had tried to request too many songs, and song lists had gotten mad at him. So it only ended up that he had two songs on the list, and I wanted to play, or he had three songs on the list. Wow. And so I deleted two of or no he had so he wasn't subscribed he was only following so he was only allowed yeah. to have two songs on the list yeah so i deleted one of them and kept the other one because i had to end i had to leave and what? he was like oh you wow you you yeeted piano man off of the list how could you yeet piano man like that and he just like kept going on about it and i like out loud i was like hey i kept your other request up yeah and For he now. wasn't like angry necessarily he just like kept talking yeah. about it and then just like talking about other stuff, it was, he was just very annoying. Seems like and, a fun like, dude. Yeah, he but he's just like he rides that line, you know, yeah. between like is it bannable or not? My and in the end, have... it, it it was, but it was like uh, it was difficult. <laughs> My mods have have different approaches to people mm-hmm. <clears throat> depending on who's on who's on active duty. Mm-hmm. I feel that. <laughs> As a backstory to, to to Pine Branch, someone I because Pine was going to tell me the the songs I was going to play, so I said people have to butter them up now pre this. And someone asked, "Does Pine want unsalted or salted butter?" <laughs> and I said, "Pine is salty enough as this, I think." <laughs> and when people come in going, "It's my birthday, can you play a song?" Pine goes, "Sure, it's uh, <laughs> uh, he's." He, uh, he's a gem and Bucky's always like the polite going oh no sorry this is not how it works this, this is how to request <laughs> when, when you manage to, and when when Bucky gets upset yeah. things have happened things have gone too far <laughs> um yeah that's ghost for me is like yeah. he's super he's always super polite and very much like when people just come in and like demand songs and stuff he's like yeah. here's the list here's how to request 330 yeah. is the same way he's very much like yeah calm and like here's here's how here's how it goes whereas like then you have like 
Kai, Kai Cobra, and Bob yeah. Fens, who hilariously like do not really get along with each other, no. but they're both hyper protective yeah. of me. Yeah. So it's very funny that they both are more likely to like ban. Um, and like they they get along, they get along fine. Yeah. It's just like if there's any ever anyone that's going to argue, it's the two yeah, of them yeah. because they're both very good at arguing. Um, but then there's just Azora how... who's just in there just being like, I've had it with all of you children. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Enough. Yeah. She's been hanging out in my streams. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're listening. Hello, Azora. I'm always very she happy. She listens to our podcast uh, yeah, regularly. Yeah. Super happy about that. Yeah. Azora's the best. Um, I still can't believe how quick Ghost is. I've talked about this before. I was in a line on stream <laughs> and someone was talking. It was like a message about religion. And I think that was their flag, a split. They said hello and something, and I could see, I could sense Ghost readying his <laughs> one <laughs> finger on the trigger. And like, yeah. yeah, you can post, if someone asks, can I post whatever I want? And it's, <clears throat> yeah, you can post if it's decent. And then, like, oh, yeah, I remember this. The yeah. faith of, <laughs> bam, not even a split second. I could read, like, and I read, I read extremely quickly. I could read the first word of that sentence, and it was gone. <laughs> I mean, bless the mods. fastest trigger in the West. Yep. They're, um, I think if there's anything that I am the absolute most grateful for on Twitch, and it's something that mods. Twitch didn't even do, it's the mods. Yeah, it's also, it's, yeah. The, uh, hey, Twitch, give us a mod chat, would you? That would be my change to Twitch. Give oh, us a mod chat, a built-in. Built in. When you're in mod view, all of the mods can chat with the other mods that are also online because wow. that would be that would yeah. be great. <laughs> I think my mods have they have their separate mod chat on Discord where I'm not allowed. <laughs> yes, they've. I've. Yes. And I, I, <laughs> Same. It scares. I I sometimes lie awake and I can going. What are they typing about me in real time when, when I'm <clears throat> perhaps me it might be straying from the song list just a tad bit? Mm -hmm. I can just see Bucky just removing his hand from the keyboard. No, no, no. I've, I've tried. <laughs> they are incredible. All of the mods are. Yeah. Have you have you modded? You're a mod at at camps, right? No. Nope. No. Thank the Lord. Um, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm a terrible mod, mainly because I just get distracted. Oh. So I'm a I'm a mod in um I'm a mod in Danny's, yeah. Um, and I'm a mod in What's the Plan, Jackie Chan, which is Danny's other oh, channel. Um, and my friend Kel, bad out of Kel, I'm a mod in her stream. Yeah. Has she started streaming music um, yet? By the way, no, she's like two followers away, and then she's gonna From do it. From um whatever she set like a goal a oh. uh, follower goal to to do um, you, your to do mission is clear back yes. out of kel out of kel b h a t o u t t a k e l bat out of kel go and Bahat follow her so she starts doing music please and yes, thank please you please do please she's she's brilliant i have to go over there and, and help her with some stuff with her ukulele but she should she should do it. I think she's gonna have a really a really good time. And I'm a mod at um ABC music. So oh, yeah. yeah. It used to be Poppy Tunes. Um I snuck in and banned someone today in her chat, which was nice. I was thoroughly lurking. I hadn't said anything in chat and <laughs> the other mod just deleted the message and I just fully banned them. I'm like, I have no fucking patience for this. <laughs> and like, <laughs> but Abby to her credit was like, Oh, you just got goodbye. You got deleted and then a lurking mod just completely demolished you and yep. she but she knew that i didn't <laughs> i hadn't said him. anything in chat so she didn't say my name because she yeah. knew like that i yeah. didn't really want to like talk or whatever which i really appreciated abby i don't think you listen to this podcast but thank you thank you abby <laughs> yeah um because yeah the users can't see who well, they can't see oh, is it only mod people. view they can mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. oh I believe so. Oh, yes, because otherwise it's just, this has been erased by a moderator. Yeah. By a moderator, yeah. Not the... Okay, good. Yeah, because I think it's to protect the mods so that the, yeah. the mods can't be... Whispered to like, or... Yeah, whispered to or harassed about it. 
<laughs> the old. Have you had any? Not that it good, stops um, them. <laughs> have you had any fun on on ban requests? We actually had one that was super cool. Weirdly, oh. um, we had. I mean, we had one before that was ongoing and failed. Um, but there was one person that had never said anything, and their name was like a like a nonsense string of characters. Yeah, and they hadn't they hadn't ever said anything in chat but they were in the chat all the time like every time i streamed they were there oh. and eddie thought that it was a bot yeah so he banned them and then they messaged him and they're like hey i don't know why i've been banned like i'm a real person he's like oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> but i think they were chinese they like very like broken english and so like oh. eddie was trying to like talk to them like using yeah. google translate to try and help like explain um, but like that, so that was, but that was really nice. Cause it was just like, wow, what a wonderful thing that this like person's been lurking and then they're coming consistently in to and never said anything. Yeah. 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 And then really wanted to be on band, which is funny. Cause like you can still watch when you're banned, you just can't yeah. type in chat and they'd never typed in chat anyways, but I mean, it feels bad to be banned. For, you got unfollowed now for a while by, with being banned. Oh, do you, you? move their follow? I think they've fixed oh. that now, but like the troll okay. bands, like yeah batting friends for a while that could also mm. make them unfollow you which is <laughs> no bueno <laughs> that's kind of hilarious i i have a lecture that i'm gonna do or have okay. partake in okay. okay watch i'm i'm learning <laughs> okay but i think we need to wrap up <laughs> I'm usually one to go. I could talk for hours, but now I have I have a thing I need to. You need to do a thing. I'm learning. Congratulations. Drum. Plural. <laughs> one drum. I'm learning a kick. singular drum. Yeah, only they the start kick. Start me off. They start me off with a t <laughs> with a crash. <laughs> the no. The only thing is a crash. Make this sound beautiful. Put this in the mix. I could totally yeah. see some like crazy music teacher being like make this sound beautiful it's like the wax on yeah. wax off things yeah. like you only get the hi-hat <laughs> that's it hi yes you don't deserve a snare because <laughs> i know i know jack Sh shabop there we go jack shabop wow about, uh, i've sworn like four times in this podcast <laughs> i've also done that but I've, I've, doesn't the fcc have like uh you can do it once per show or episode or movie i have no idea you can i can just mark it once. as explicit material oh <laughs> Well then, <laughs> my tolerance. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I suck at programming drums, and I need to. And, and that is a a, a a lack of understanding of music theory and how drums work. Mm -hmm. Now I'm taking I'm taking lessons. That's and, very and smart. Let me know. Yeah. Let me know how it is because I also suck. I'm getting better mm -hmm. though. Yeah. So. Dip and just bit. like understanding the roles of of the drums, mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. why kick, how pattern, what? Yes, my current side little project that I'm doing. Sorry, we will Ooh. absolutely wrap up. This is the last thing I'm gonna say. I swear <laughs> to God. So I made all these lo-fi tracks. Yeah. And I want to make more lo-fi tracks. But we had friends came over a couple of weeks ago to play mm -hmm. board games and playing a game called Gloomhaven, which is this big epic fantasy board game. Mm -hmm. And we were looking for like chill fantasy beats oh and so there was nothing like there were spotify lo-fi playlists for like lo-fi versions of stuff from like final fantasy or whatever but there was no like lo-fi fantasy music i only hear the lo-fi so version of it. the taking the hobbits to isengard in my head <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> that's okay <laughs> <laughs> to Isengard. Isengard. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Cool. That's a niche that needs yeah. to be filled. Then. Then you have. Well, that's kind of what I thought. I'm like, this feels like a thing that doesn't exist that should probably exist, and so, so I'm kind of, trying so it out. Lo-fi fantasy. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it really atmospheric. That's my goal: yeah. is to make it feel really like. Make it a little creepy or make it a little mm -hmm. mystical and like the instruments that I use and like it's been a challenge. I just kind of started on it today. I've been meaning to do it yeah. for a while. I'm procrastinating practicing emo music by making. Oh, yeah, you had that on, is that just Saturday? 
Sunday. Sunday? Saturday, I get to stream with Kendra Lanius. Oh, what? As in Kendra Lissa, because she changed her name. Is, or, at, at your house? Is she coming over to your house? Is she also in Toronto? She's in, uh, she's very close to Toronto, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not jelly at all. No, no, <laughs> no, not at all. This is this going to is... be the chillest stream yeah? in the history of the universe. So that's yep. Saturday for you is yep. Kendra Lanius or Kendra yep. Licious? Ken- Kendra Lissa. Kendra Lissa. Kendra Licious. Licious. I'm so- <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very a Destiny's Child. <laughs> Yes. She's Kendra Licious. Edit this out. <laughs> She's Kendra Licious. I love that I, like, I'm giving you orders. Well, edit this out. <laughs> I know. I'm not listening to any of them. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Have I told you our, our violinist, uh, since we play Killing the Name Up with a band, mm-hmm. we, uh, we used to play Killing the Name Up. And our viola player, as we were getting out of the tour bus in Germany, he went, some of those that work off his... They are very nice bosses. Some of those that work office, they are very nice bosses. Yes, sir. I will do what you tell me. <laughs> and it's the weirdest ever version <laughs> of killing in the name of. And I hear an order. Yes, sir. I will do what you tell me. Some of those who mm-hmm. work office, they're very nice bosses. <laughs> so Saturday is Kendra Licious. Yeah. Uh, and Sunday is Emo for you. Twitch yeah. goes Emo. Yeah, at 9 a.m., Theo. Third? Uh-huh. 9 a.m. <laughs> uh, that is Theo's six dancing. hours. <laughs> yeah. That is six hours uh, behind me. So that will be mm-hmm. maths. Three o'clock. Quick maths. Three o'clock for me. Mm-hmm. I will still be hungover from Saturday. Yeah, I will hell yeah, you will. <laughs> crying out for Jesus to come save me. Because I'm my own personal Jesus. Huh? Oh. Dum, da, 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 da. Yeah, Very 9 a.m. Is this the third or fourth iteration of Twitch Goes Emo? I don't know. It's my first time doing it. So. Yeah, I've seen it I'm before. Sure. Or, <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it happen a few salty. times. Yeah. I've seen it before. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> um, this is the first time I've been invited to participate. So. Also, 330 requested a super cut of all my noises for the one year streamer. <laughs> this. Just uh, like, first of all, great idea. But also the fact that, like, we can even think about hitting one year is yeah. fucking wild. Our, I think we're past the half year mark now. Yeah, we are. I Which think we started in... Bonkers. In... Yes. May. May? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Nice. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, which is very cool. Thank you guys for listening. I feel like this is something we don't often say, but if you enjoy the podcast and you know other people that you think would also yes. enjoy the podcast, please feel free to share it with other yeah. people who may enjoy listening to a couple of musicians ramble for an hour and a half. half about. <laughs> No, I'm not going to do it. Wow. Yes. What were you going to do? <laughs> I will tell you when we when when I hit stop on the recording. I will tell you okay. what I'm going to do. Theo opened his mouth and closed it like four times and then didn't say anything. <laughs> this is this is all my self control. I feel like a child. Mm-hmm. Did I show you the picture of me as a child? By the way, last week there was a trend on Twitter. The same energy as you when you were a child. And I posted a picture, and my mom gave me gave me more pictures because I asked her where that picture was, and she sent mm-hmm. me another one where I'm sitting in my in my babysitter. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm perhaps six months, one year. I don't know. It's hard to tell babies, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it looks like I'm waving. And I said, "Oh, I still wave the same way." And my mom went, "No, you were you were waving that way because you were using it as momentum to move your sitter forward." I would like <laughs> just get across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, okay, that that's tracks. Great. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Um, all right, let's wrap it up because yeah, we keep sorry. doing this. We've gone for an extra 10 minutes and you need to go do things with your life. Um. <laughs> Thank you all for listening. Uh, if, if you want to find us, there are links at, oh God, 
linktr.ee slash mostly finished. That's linktr.ee slash mostly finished. Um, you can also just look up Theodore Elfing or Alana Maddie Alana on the internet. On the interwebs and you will find us. Yes. Or our clones. Yes. Also, we didn't say elf. any of the dates today. Today's actual date is November the 16th. This yeah. podcast will come out for you. It is Unfriendly. currently Friday, November the 19th. I mean, it's probably yeah. not. You're probably listening to this on like Sunday in the afternoon in your car. Going... Leave, perhaps we're watching Twitch go email. Wow. Or yeah. are about to watch Twitch go email. And mom, yeah. if you're watching this, listening to this at three in the morning again, I love you, mom. Yes, I love she your mom also. Night, I don't think my mom listens to the podcast, but if you do, I love you and don't buy the magic stuff. <laughs> Dad will be mad mom, at you. if you're listening, buy me a magician set. And with that, thank you for listening. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Make street elephants a horse thing. Bye-bye. Make street elephants a horse Bye-bye. thing. Goodbye.